Normally we measure client side uh, performance by using something called web timings, which is a, a spec that is built into the browser um, and it sends back or records data at different points in the page. So what's interesting for client-side performance is it might just be that when the page first paints that you're most interested in or when the page is ready for uh, some sort of interactive event. So time to interactivity might be interesting. Or when is the content above the fold rendered? Um, it's not always when the page is actually complete and fully loaded that is of interest. So when we look at measuring client-side performance, we usually use the web timing markers to record multiple events in a sequence of the page loading and then look for where the problems are with respect to is it, you know, as the page just starts? Is it that the server takes too long to send us the first byte? Is it that it takes too long after the page is loaded and it's delayed when you try to go somewhere else? So actually multiple points in the page render that we're interested in and the problem can come in various points. So we want to record them all and then analyze where the real problems are.